Hey everyone, welcome back to Blockchain Token. What is it? Obviously, I am not Rachel, but due to technical difficulties, I will be filling in for her for today's episode as we cover Melonport. Melonport is the company building the Melon protocol on top of Ethereum's blockchain. Their site states that they chose Melon because it is a Greek word for future. Currently, the protocol runs only on Ethereum, but they are planning to run their protocol on multiple blockchain platforms with future expansion. The Melon project is a protocol for decentralized digital asset management. With Melon, you can set up, manage, and invest in customizable digital management strategies for not only digital assets, but traditional assets represented by digital tokens. Their protocol includes a modular setup, and this inherently allows the protocol to be flexible and built upon the future for added functionality. Furthermore, Melonport touts their modular setup as an environment that creates more competition for asset management strategies because it lowers the fees and clearing times. This is because processes can be automated and more readily verifiable using smart contracts. Regulatory protocols are coded into the system, therefore preventing the problems traditional asset management currently faces. Melon has many specific integrations in their protocol like their modules and vaults, which are integral to their ecosystem in which managers and investors contribute to. The Melon token is also a very important aspect of their network, as it's necessary to participate. Furthermore, Melon token works as an incentive system and rewards users for continuing to participate in the network appropriately. It also gives participants in the network protocol voting rights on monetary policy and technical design. This is all done through smart contracts since the token itself is a smart contract. Because the Melon protocol is built to be a modular-like system, the token is used for contributing, participating in, and paying people within the ecosystem. This system allows them the multi-chain functionality as well. For more information, just head to 